In a month where Microsoft extended its Call of Duty contract offer to 10 years, Ricardo Cadesso from the EU Commission tweets that they're doing everything they can to keep Call of Duty on his PlayStation, Kojima's Xbox game Overdose is leaked, and to everyone's delight, Miles Morales released on PC. <laughs> The big news of the month, though, was the price reveal of PSVR 2. When the release date and price of PSVR 2 got announced, my boy said I thought it was a bit expensive, and instantly got called an explore and told that they hope I die, and that my family dies, and that my nan dies, and that we go to the pits of hell when the heat's so hot that our eyes literally melt through our nostrils, and that our skin forms a sort of glue that molds us together until we're some indiscernible blob. The flame says only purpose is to communicate our pain. Luckily, a week earlier, Elon Musk told his comedy was legal, so I knew they'd be only joking. I'm still crying. I quite like PSVR. My favourite was Paranormal Activity. It was so scary, I used to reach for a lamp and blitz my friend with it. He's in a wheelchair now. The problem is, Sony's last published PSVR game was Iron Man in 2020. Then they pretty much left the device to die. A device that was released in 2016 and probably had a handful of decent games for it. Of course, the promise had drifted being a thing of the past, and if they can fix the issue where the lenses steam up as soon as it hits my chair of life face, then maybe it could have some longer legs. But right now, it's only missing a Half Life Alex, and Horizon Zero Dawn looks like it's a trial by numbers VR experience, with a climbing section, an on rail section, oh look, there's a bow section. There's nothing really to tell me day one, other than the promise of having to rebuy my games again. I'll probably buy it one day, as shiny new things help us get deep unhappiness in my life. But for 550 quid, well, I'd rather have an Xbox. <laughs>